Hey everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. It is the end of the month, so it's now time for the wrap-up of everything I've coloured in the month of October. I coloured 18 pictures. I think not all of them are Halloween or Halloween related. There are a lot of patterns as well, just because it's something to do in the um, thing. If you can hear noises in the background, it's Jennifer and Paul playing. I'm actually filming this in the afternoon instead of at night, because uh, Jennifer can now get out of a cot, which means we're having fun. Uh, so the first one I did was I've got one in the Sun and Moon Mandala coloring book by uh, Camellia Angel Cova and I did this one. This was just done with various gel pens, mostly Link Shine but there were some other ones used as well. So I did that one. I did uh, one in the Jade Summit 50 Even Easy Mandala books. Uh, again I did this one. This was because I got some um, pastel highlighters from I think Lidl's and I wanted to try them out so that's those there. First Halloween one was uh, Camellia Angel Cola Covers, I can't even say it, uh, Camellia Angel Covers, one from 50 Halloween Mandalas, I'll just colour in these whenever I fancy colouring in a pattern. And I did this one, this one was done using the, what was it did I use? I used the Crelando pens I think. Yeah, it was the Crilando ones. So that was fun to do. I did one in that. I did one in The Little Dark Lins by Kelly Horton. And I think we did this one on camera, didn't we? Apart from the background. Uh, I did this one. I like that one. Luna. I enjoyed that. That was nice to do. Another one, Camellia Angel Cova. This is 101 mandalas. This was from the Limache um, uh, review we, we did. It's this one. This is a nice pattern. I quite like these patterns. I will be definitely trying to use the uh, gel pens in it as well. It does go through, but it doesn't bleed onto the next page, so it was fine. Another one done by using the Le Mache markers was uh, another one from the Colour by Numbers Patterns book by Jade Summer. And I did this one. And again, that's just using the Le Mache just because there's so many nice colours in there. I've actually put them away and I'm going to just redo the palette with different ones um, and see what, what comes up, see what it's like. So there's that one. So I'm, I'm going to speed through these. I never make these very long and talk about them for long because there's not a lot to say. Most of them, especially if they're patterns. Uh, Jade Summer brought out a Halloween pattern book this year. I really love this. It's quite intricate and I only did one. But again, I could possibly see me doing more. And again, I use the uh, my gel pens. I'm trying to use up all my odd bits. So there's bits of Link Shine, bits of other ones. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that one. Um, I could see me just colouring that every now and again. It's just a really nice set of patterns. I quite liked using the, the glitter pens. You know I love my glitter gel pens. I don't use a lot of other uh, gel pens really. There's that one. Another pattern I did was in my Easy Flower Mandala book. I'm doing all of these and I did this one. Sorry about that. Jennifer tried to come in. She's been playing with daddy. So this again was done with various uh, gel pens. I'm trying to just use them up. I like them. I love this book. This is one of the books I want to finish. That's one I did before I decided to just do them in order because it's easier that way. I did, um, I finally finished the one in the Celtic colouring book. This is the one we've been using for uh, just to, uh, when we've been doing the first impressions, I just finished it off with the limaches, not the limaches, with the Sakura jelly rolls, just to finish it off and that's what it looks like finished. It's quite nice actually. It's a good way of testing them on these pattern books, but I wanted to put it away, so I did that. <clears throat> I finally did one in this book. I've had this book, I got this last year for around Halloween. And I did this one with the Black Widows and I really like this picture. It took me a while but I really enjoyed it and I used all of them. So there's that one. We've done one in 50 Easy Patterns by Jade Summer. This was using some more pens that I got from, I got these ones from Aldi actually. 
I did that one and I did because there was a, a two packs there was um, of pens from Algies, uh brights highlighters and pastels so this is the brights and I just did it just to see what they were like and I did this one as well which is the pastels and they're actually really nice pens so oops I did a couple of Deborah Mullers. I did uh, Halloween Darlings. Darlings, we did this one on camera. This is the um, Bride of uh, Frankenstein. Really love this. That was some of the polychromos. Um, really enjoyed doing the background. And we also used some uh, uh, Sakura jelly rolls as well. And black jelly roll glaze on the eyes of the, the skulls. And I did one in Graveyard Queens as well. And I did this one, sort of fortune teller. This was done with various markers, touch, uh, touch new skin tones, touch five and RTs or ever blends. And again, used some uh, glitter gel pen on her jewelry and her one eye and the black jelly roll glaze on the pearls. I think she's freaky. I really like that. You can imagine letting that dry with the book open overnight in the bedroom. <laughs> it was quite scary. I did a pattern in The Art of Colouring Birds because it's been hanging around for a while. But I did enjoy this one and I did this sort of parrot here for the background. And this was done with the Crillando, I want to say. Yeah, the Crillandos. Just like they're easy pack of pens to have just sitting there. I did one from my left-handed Halloween coloring book which is this one. Um, it's very weird because it is on the wrong side of the page. Uh, even to me it seems to be... <laughs> oops! <laughs> squeaks. So this I did with the Limo Shea markers and I like the way it turned out. I really like this one. She's having a screech now. <laughs> I did one Halloween in the Halloween Enchanted Halloween book, Whimsy Girls. And I did this one, and this one only took me two days, and it was just using um, various markers from Everblend, Touch New, Touch Five markers. I like those sorts of markers, so um, the only thing I didn't colour in is I didn't colour in her buttons, so I'll have to do those. Maybe I'll put some just some gel pen on there or something. I just noticed they're not done, but they look fine like that actually. <laughs> There's that one. And finally, I did one in April Amber's colouring book. We did this on Halloween all together. It was the long, long video. And I did this one. I really like that picture. I think she's so cute. So, those are all the pictures I coloured for Halloween 2020. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up. Uh, let me know which one is your favourite down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.